right? Yep, Utah yep, yep. supposed to play Denver Thursday in game six, but with the dramatic NBA boycotts this past week, it was pushed back to Sunday with their second chance to close out Denver and the Jazz could not get it done. Donovan Mitchell brought out brought his closeout game out. He made nine of 13 three-pointers, but Jamal Murray's been playing out of his oh, mind lately. Me. Nine of 12 from beyond the arc. Denver up five at the break. The only other guy who was consistent on offense for the Jazz was Mike Conley. He finished with 21, but Donovan, we've said it time and time again in this series, he's gone from all-star to superstar. 44 points, trying to almost single-handedly bring the Jazz back, but the Nuggets never let Utah go on a big run, mainly because Murray couldn't miss. He had 50 points. Second time he's gone over the 50-point mark in this series, he and Mitchell are two of just four players ever do that in NBA history. And after the game, you can see the frustration by Mitchell as he walks off the court that they could not close it out. The final 119-107. Game seven is going to be Tuesday night right here on ABC4. We're just pissed off because that was a winnable game. Um, no one's down at all. We got one more game. You know, if we're down now, then we've already lost game seven. I don't think anybody's down. I think piss would be the right word because there were things we can do. Um, to win this, win this game. Um, we're motivated for the next game. You know, no one said it's going to be easy. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that easy. I mean, 3-1, Denver's a really good team, Denver's but really I'm surprised team. how well they've played the last two games. The Jazz should have closed it out in game five when they had a 15-point lead in the third right, quarter. Right, right. They could have, this, this game would have been a moot point, right? Uh, but now they're in trouble. Now they're in deep, deep trouble because Denver's got all the momentum. All the momentum. The Jazz just, they're, Spotty right now, aren't they? I mean, they look good in stretches, but then they go long periods of time without scoring baskets. Um, Donovan Mitchell needs help. Jordan Clarkson had double figures tonight. Rudy Gobert had double figures yeah, tonight. Yeah, but only Conley 11 each. But, you need more but, than yeah, 11 out of Clarkson. But nothing spectacular, right? It was right. just, and then at the end of the game, it seems like everyone just stands and waits for Donovan Mitchell to score. They, right. they need help, and they need to put a body on that guy. <laughs> I, <laughs> They've tried everything. They've tried O'Neal, Conley, Mitchell, Ingles. I don't know, maybe put Gobert on. How about, knocking him, to, how about knocking him to the floor you once? Know, they're going to have to, you know, the series <laughs> are all about adjustments, and Quinn Snyder's going to have to make an adjustment on how they guard Jamal Murray. Can, but can we, can we just appreciate what we're witnessing this here? This is impressive. Mitchell and Murray are putting on a clinic. This is NBA yeah. history. Only Michael Jordan and Elgin Baylor had scored over 50 points in a single playoff series. Both these guys have done it <laughs> twice. We have to appreciate how good they are. Yeah. But I still, we're going to see the Jazz are made up. They have the veteran makeup to come out in Game 7. A lot of these guys have played in Game 7s before. I think they have the makeup to get it done and close them out on Tuesday. I, I will tell you what. This, this is reminiscent of 1994 when Utah Jazz playing the Denver Nuggets. Went up 3-1 in the series. Yeah. Lost the next two games. It was 3-3. But Karl Malone went out of his way to guarantee a victory, a victory in Game 7. I'm going to wait and see if anybody's going to step up and guarantee a victory in Game 7 in this series. Put the pressure on yourself and uh, say... We're going to win this thing and then go out and do it. I don't think, I don't anyone think anybody does will do that it these days, this day and age.